Hello everybody, and today we're going to talk about the Inari Tactical Objective Cards and Necron Objective Cards and all the races that you can't buy them anymore because for some reason Game Workshop has stopped using them but 8th edition is supposedly you can assume, so it kind of makes sense I suppose but you know what they like, they are full of crap, G GW, they could all be a rumour So let me tell you how I made my Inari data cards What I did them first, I bought a, tack a deck of normal cards for how much they are. But one of these, I got out all the ones, the, the correct number one. So the one one, security objective one. I, co I copied this from the codex itself. So all the word is precise, exactly from the codex, so nobody can whinge, it's not self written or wrote. So I pr copied all these, I shrunk them down and expanded them so they fit inside the square. And then I kept these on there to make sure the opponent knows they're not cheered. Okay. And so I've done six, I've done those, I've shrunk them down, put them in the right position, I've kept them the same. And another good tip, if you do if you do want to do this right, is make sure you put the right numbers on, the right one. So one one is on the security one, so one six is this one. So that way, if you draw this card, say like you got this one, Soul Search, and it's on this card, the component can argue that that's on the wrong card and yeah, it's really the other one. So if you are doing this, make sure you just put them on the right cards, just to stop people bitching at you. Okay. So how I did this, I printed them off on an A4 sheet of paper, on the right correct size. I cut them out, I got a, p a nice big finger cell tip, the fat one. I put them on the card and I just stuck it down, really nice and flat, you can all lines I think, as you can see. Cut out what I was left, and you're left with a perfect card. And then also what I done, on top of that, I printed out some of the psychic powers from the codex. And I made them the slightly smaller on the card to fit in the box, but I should have measured the box on the card because the box is actually a bit bigger. So if you print these off, you want to expand these in like a little few millimeters. But I printed these out, as you can see, all from the codex, exact wording. They are just copy and paste from the codex. So then we can bitch or whine. And that way, I have psychic cards, and I have to go back and follow the damn book because the psychic phase takes forever. And I also laminated them because I want them to last. Nice plastic, hard wearing, and last a lifetime if you look after them. And just because I'm me, I print out two sets. Okay. So if you get the one box, all the cards, and all the cards will fit perfectly in there. So that way then, you can just shuffle them in, you know, I'm a crap shuffler, okay. So you shuffle them in, put that in there, like so. And also, the best reason why I made them this size is so you can put them all in the box. And then that way, you get to play your games, and you're going to mess about with carrying extra stuff for messing about. And that is how you make your army tackle jack of cards with psychic powers. Thank you um, all for watching, and don't forget this can be used for any race. You can do this trick for Necrons, whatever's out there that you can't get hold of, even the other other cards if you wanted to. Uh, if you want some of these cards, all of them are correct size and all on just one A4 piece of paper, so you've got to print one thing out, and you've just got to do a little bit of trimming. If you just click look on the link down in the description below, I will try to put a little link on them with just, just the print out, so you just print it out and just cut it and you, off you go, you all saw it. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you again next time. Have fun.